now for question 6c from um sorry I'll change that january 2008 january 2008 lazy paper okay 6c now now we found in 6a we were told uh, we were told a few things we were told that the weight of the bags, bags of corn are normally distributed with a mean of 200 and we worked out the standard deviation was 11.9 Okay, that's what we worked out from part A, a and B. Now, um, a shopkeeper finds that customers will complain if their bag of popcorn weighs less than 180 grams. Okay, so you have here 180 grams. The mean was 200. So if it's in this region here, the customers will complain. Okay, find the probability that a customer will complain. So we've got to find the area of this okay region there. Alright, so let's take let's find the z value for this particular thing. So basically we've got to find the probability that the weight of the bag of pop popcorn is less than uh, 180. That's what we've got to find. Which is in the standardized version, the probability that z is less than and if you standardize it, remember z is equal to x minus mu which is the mean over sigma which is the standard deviation so if you standardize this 180 you have 180 minus 200 you see it's going to be negative below you know the the zero which is the standardized mean over the standard deviation which we worked out was 11.9 in the first question let's put 11.88 i think that was a more accurate version okay, there's no problem so that's what we got to do we got to find the probability that the z is less than value so probability that z is less than let's work out what that is with a calculator you got 180 minus 200 over this answer so let's do that 180 minus in fact let's do it like this 180 take away 200 over our last answer so you're going to get minus 1.68 z is less than minus 1.68 so that's what we got to find. Okay. Now the probability that the z is less. This is the standardized value for 180 minus 1.68. Now we don't have z as minus 1.68 in our table. The z values start as positive values. So the area that we're looking for here is corresponding to this area here, where that's equal to the probability that z is greater than 1.6 than than 1.68. Okay, greater than 1.68. That's the area that we're looking for okay however our table for z on the top only gives us the area to the left of the value okay to the left of this okay 1.68 so if i look up z equals 1.68 in the table in this table here if i look at z is 1.68 which is down here somewhere let's get rid of these okay that's going to not give me what's to the right that's going to give me to the left what's to the left the area to the left of 1.68. I want the area to the right of it. Okay. Oops. Where am I going? I want the area to the right of it. Okay. So that's what I want. So I want this. I want this area here. Okay. So what I've got to do is that's the same as one minus the probability that Z is less than 1.68. Okay. Which is equal to one minus that value we just saw. Okay, 1.68, 0 0.9535. 0 0.9535. So let's go back here. 0 0.9535. Whoops. Try and be neater than that. 0 0.9535. And that will give us our answer. So you have 1 take away 0 0.9535. Boom. And we get to answer 0 0.0465. So 0 0.0465. That would be the probability that customers would complain. Okay? And there we have our answer for this question. Thank you for watching.